I am absolutely loving this fabric. It's a faux linen, but it's the color that I am loving the most. So I'm going to go out and see if I can pick up some more of this fabric. Today I'm wearing the Vintage Simplicity Jumpsuit Pattern. I really, really like it. I'm giving myself plenty of time to get where I'm going because you just never know what the traffic is gonna be like. The lady in there asked me if I made my jumpsuit and then she started talking to me about her and how she sews and she was saying she is not that good. So we were having a little conversation. Professional finish, you know, with our seams. Aw, thank you so much. Okay, so this is what I picked up. It's all nicely folded in here. So I'll share it like this. Of course, I got some more of the linen. And then I picked up some knit camo camouflage. Here's some other knit camouflage, but it has like flowers in it, kind of floral print. And it's kind of, what is that called? Where it's kind of ripped. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? You know what? Let me pull it out. Uh, it has little tears in the fabric yeah there you go all over I think I want to make like a hoodie or a sweatshirt from that and then the last fabric that I picked up was just some denim this denim right here I did put some fabric in the washing machine. I have a roast in the crock pot and now I'm gonna eat some strawberries before they go bad. I actually ended up getting some sewing done last night. I took one of those camouflage pieces out of the dryer and then I made a new look pattern. I'm on my way to church. I have on a Berta dress with some brown booties. I wanna show you all these shoes that I bought recently. So I bought these Converse shoes and I love them. They remind me of like boots. I haven't worn them. I just got them in the mail, but I wanted to share them in case you're interested. This is the camo knit that I used to sew up a pattern yesterday. It was one of the 99 cent new look patterns and this pattern is from 2018. This is what I have left after making the project and it only called for a yard of fabric. So I have enough that I can use this for something else later. The pattern I made is new look 6546. This pattern doesn't call for any notions. All you need is fabric and thread. I did make a size small and there are only four pattern pieces. So you have the front, the back, you have a piece for your armhole band and also a piece for your neck band. I have another pattern that I picked up for 99 cent. It is New Look 6724. And I want to make this in that green linen like fabric that I picked up. I've been wanting like a linen shirt. So I thought that this pattern would be perfect. It has big pockets on the front. It has a pleat in the back, buttons down the front and a collar. And I'm going to cut out an extra small. So I have to go somewhere, but when I come back, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. So I'm volunteering. We have some food that was donated from a school. So right now I'm just putting it all in the refrigerator.
This is how the garment looks with the big pockets on the front. This is a unisex pattern and there are 10 pattern pieces. I knew I was going to need all of the pattern pieces so I just cut them out and then now I'm going in and cutting them a little more precise getting them right on the line because the first cut I just cut them out kind of roughly just to get them off of the tissue paper and now I'm just going to cut them out the way they're supposed to be cut out to be used. The pattern calls for eight buttons. So you have six buttons to go down the front and then two buttons on the sleeve in the cuff area. I was looking at the sleeve pattern. So you have three pleats and then you have this area here, which is where this continuous lap will go. I did buy quite a bit of this green fabric and I'm thinking at some point I want to make a pair of shorts. I've been sewing along. I already put the pockets on. The directions have you do the burrito method. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm just going to pin these shoulders together and then stitch everything down. This is what I have so far. This is the front with the big pockets. Here's the back with that pleat there. And then next I'm gonna just start working on the front placket. The placket is stitched on, it's folded over, and now I just have it pinned down. I have the collar on, and then I also stitched the side seams together, the front to the back. And now I'm going to go ahead and start working on the sleeves. I like to use wash away tape on my pleats. So I'm just going to put the tape directly on top of the line. So right here, pin that down or press it down, cut it. And then I'm going to peel the tape away. I just use a pin to score a line, remove the tape. And then I will fold on the crease line or the line for the pleat. So this line will be pressed over on top of the tape. And I'll make sure it's nice and even up here at the top. And that will hold the pleat down for me while I go ahead and work on the other pleat. There are three total, so one, two and then there's another one over here once all the pleats are taped down then i will baste across each pleat this is how the pleats look after they're all basted down and this wash away tape will go away in the washing machine so you won't see this white tape after the garment is washed here's one of the cuffs that i'm working on i have it pinned and now i'm just going to stitch on the right side very close to this seam You can choose to put your buttonholes on the right front placket or on the left and I'm going to put mine on the right and I'm only going to use four buttons and for the sleeves I'm going to put clear buttons and I think down the front I'm going to do covered buttons. I paired the top with a Vogue pattern for Rachel Comey shorts that I made a while ago. 
I did use five eighths of an inch wide buttons rather than the half inch wide that the pattern calls for. The sleeves are a little long on me, so if I ever make this again, I will definitely shorten the sleeve pattern so that the cuff won't hang so low. I am currently out of town and I am laying here relaxing, reading a book on my iPad. And I've been here for a couple of days, but guess what I did? Right before we came here, I was sitting on the couch waiting on my husband so we could go to the airport and I was surfing on my phone. So then when he came downstairs and it was time to go, we jumped in the car. And as we're driving, we get closer to the airport and I like to put the parking space in my phone wherever we decide to park in the parking garage so as we were getting close to the airport i started reaching for my cell phone and yep i left it at home sitting on the couch so like i said i'm out of town and it was too late to turn back so i haven't had my phone for a couple days and i honestly haven't missed it too much I have my iPad so I can check emails and messages and things like that. And the only time I noticed that I really truly miss my phone is when I was driving somewhere because I didn't know where I was going. And so I didn't have a way to navigate, you know, on times when I was by myself. We have someone that's able to go ahead and send it overnight. So they grab the phone and it should be here sometime today. So that's cool. My husband's not here. So he was like, well, text me when you get your phone. Text me when you get your phone. So it should be here if it comes on time in probably another hour or so. My cell phone is here. My husband has some other things shipped also. So that's why this box is so big. But let me open this box and rescue my phone. Okay, it died. I was checking to see if I had any messages, but of course it makes sense that I would need to charge it first. Let me send my husband a message to let him know I'm back in business. Hey. So I just finished the book that I was reading, The Secret Life of Bees, and they also have a movie, The Secret Life of Bees. It is starring Queen Latifah, Jennifer Hudson is in it, and also Alicia Keys. And I am actually about to go watch it right now, and I can't wait to see how it compares to the book. Ooh. 